Here at STR Play, we like a challenge. Look at this. It's a 75-year-old communications radio, a Marconi CR100 that we picked up on eBay. Non-functional. This boat anchor became the start of a very exciting project. So the challenge was to create a general coverage receiver that used the electronics from a more up-to-date technology, an SDR. And this is the RSP1 from SDR Play. So usually an SDR is connected to a computer and to an antenna. So the antenna's the same as ever. We've just got a long wire at the end of this uh, coax. But instead of a computer with a keyboard, a mouse, or any other kind of control devices, we're going to use the CR100 as the user interface. So the idea was to hide all the electronics inside the CR100 box. We cheated a little bit and removed some of the bulkier old uh, components, such as the very hefty transformer, which left us with plenty of room to sneak in a little Acer a PC computer, Windows computer, which is uh, tucked away at the top here. We also modified the main tuning system to uh, turn a crank to an optical shaft encoder that you can see at the back, which is used to detect and control the frequency that you want to select. And you can spot here, we're using an Arduino as our microcontroller hardware platform to pick up the signals from the rotary shaft encoder and the other buttons and controls that are needed to allow us to explore um, the uh, radio spectrum. This little RSP can go anywhere from 10 kilohertz up to 2 gigahertz, whereas the original Marconi CR100 would only go from 60 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So we've got a lot more to cover than can possibly be covered on the original um, five bands that were offered by the um, uh, by the Marconi. There you can see the uh, the original uh, bands of the CR100. So with no keyboard or mouse to help uh, guide us and just showing here the typical uh, SDR display that you get. We needed to have a way to quickly navigate around the spectrum. So we added uh, some buttons here, what we call spectrum jump, uh, up and down, and we modified this um, dial here with another up, up optical encoder the other side, rotary encoder, to zoom in and out of the spectrum and then whatever spectrum you have covered at any one time you can jump um, up and down uh, by that amount. So just going over to the, um, we've rigged up a, an HD monitor so you can actually see what's going on. As I turn the spectrum zoom uh, anti-clockwise we go to a span from in this case uh, around about 6.2 6, .2, 6 megahertz all the way up to 8 megahertz so we've got like a 2 meg chunk of spectrum visible at a time and when I turn the spectrum zoom control the other way the spectrum uh, narrows right down so that you, in fact, that's uh, that blue band in the middle is the band pass of the lo um, lower side band um, pass band filter. So that's just the uh, sort of three kilohertz basically can fill the screen. Um, so then, if I just press the uh, spectrum jump button, we move by. A much smaller amount. So we have the ability to move around the spectrum in leaps and bounds or by very small amounts. We also added uh, buttons to select the popular 
um, modes for um, tick modulation, FM, narrowband FM, uh, AM, upper sideband and lower sideband. So what the Arduino is doing here, as it uh, picks up the various dials moving or buttons being pressed, is to send hotkey commands to HDSDR via this USB into the PC here, this little mini PC, and those signals are controlling the HDSDR. And we're very much indebted to KD2, uh, KOG, Mike Ladd, who uh, really is a, a top expert at um, configuring Arduinos and handling the hardware interface to a whole variety of um, uh, standalone um, user interfaces for SDR. And we've basically had his help in being able to engineer this, uh, this working demo. So I've turned it on now and you can see we're on 40 meters, uh, 7 megahertz and I'm now just turning the main tuning and unlike a normal SDR where you typically be able to point with a mouse we're only allowing ourselves the controls of the Marconi C CR100 and we've got the software configured such that as you turn the tuning dial the uh, point that you're receiving is moving through the center of the screen. There's a strong one. There we go. And on the, on the spectrum display you can see all the other strong signals that are romping in here. It's afternoon time here in the UK. Uh, coming in on 40 meters. That's a nice strong German station, which is very fitting because the first time this is going to be um, out as a demo will be at Electronica 2016 in Munich. And um, we hope anyone that uh, can make it can come along and uh, and see the way that new life has been breathed into this fantastic ancient piece of uh, radio engineering. I should just finish off by saying that uh, this project was sponsored by RS Components and RS Components started life 80 years ago as radio spares and um, we're very grateful to their encouragement for us to take on this uh, exciting project here at SDR Play. For more information on the RSP, go to www.sdrplay.com.